Good evening, YouTube. Brother Briar here, back again. And tonight I wanted to share my thoughts on a tobacco that I've really been enjoying this fall, and that is McClellan's Cyprian Mixture. Got some Cyprian Mixture fired up here in my Bjarn. This is a uh, Viking series, Bent Rhodesian. Um, I think that I was smoking this in my last video as well, but this is tobacco, like I said, that I've really been enjoying this fall, so I just kind of wanted to share um, my thoughts on it, not necessarily do a detailed review. Um, I don't think I've got strong enough of a palate to really pull out all the different things and all the different flavors that I'm picking up and, and whatnot. But I'll do my best to at least share some of the things that come to my mind anyway. So, Cyprian Mixture. I've got uh, TobaccoReviews.com pulled up here. And they describe this as a dark, rich, and satisfying English mixture of Orientals, Virginias, Carolinas, and Cyprian Latakia. It's a sweet, soft, pleasant-smelling American-style English. And I do think they hit the nail on the head with that description of it being sweet, soft, pleasant smelling English. Now, I think it's important to, to note that it is a pleasant smelling English. I think most people um, that are not pipe smokers are probably turned off by the smell of English blends. My wife being one, uh, which is why I do all my videos outside <laughs> for one reason or another. But this actually is a pleasant smelling English blend. And I think it has to do, I would guess, from the Virginias, because Virginias, I think, are more naturally sweet. Um, but it is, um, it is also very smooth. It, it describes it here as being soft, which I think is a, is a great term for it. It's not harsh, it doesn't bite. and I draw pretty heavily on my pipes. And I have to be careful because I'm prone to getting tongue bite, but I don't have that problem with this tobacco. And as you can see, this is a fairly short stem. I mean, you can see in relation to the size of my, what appears to be a giant hand because it's right in front of the camera, but <laughs> um, you can see the pipe itself and the stem is not actually too big. And so, The fact that I don't get any tongue bite um, accurately describes um, or, or is representative of the description that it is soft um, and pleasant. Anyway, so that's the description. Just wanted to share, I guess, my thoughts on that is I agree. So the cut is actually a broken flake, which I can show you the bag, but it's kind of hard to see in the, in the lighting here. See if I can maybe. Oh, that's better. You can kind of see it's got a, a medley of different colors in there, mostly dark, and you can see the the dark Latakia and the red Virginia. And it looks almost like a ribbon cut, but it's a bit more coarse. It's a bit more thick. Uh, it's a bit thicker of a cut than um, a ribbon cut. So I, I I would liken it to a very fine very fine mulch um, which I actually like I think with ribbon cuts I tend to pack them a little more tightly um, I think it I think ribbon cuts have a way of becoming too tightly packed I think this with it being a little thicker of a cut it allows a little more room uh, for the tobacco to breathe as you're smoking it. So I think that also adds to a good smoking experience with this tobacco. Now as for the way it smokes and, and how it, in my opinion, tastes, I 
I liken it almost to a frog, like Frogmorton Cellar. Reason being is because the Frogmortons, I think, are all um, English blends, but they all have different variations um, in their formula or in their mixtures. So, or blends rather. But I liken it to Frogmorton Cellar because it does have that subtle sweetness to it. Um, the Frogmorton Cellar. Um, it has that whiskey stave cube in it that they throw in in every every tin. Now I don't know if the tobacco, if cellar Frogmorton cellar is actually um, coated. I don't think it is. I think it just the tobacco takes on the flavor of the whiskey from the actual stave cube that they throw in in the tin. So. Anyway, it's got that smokiness from the uh, Latakia, but also the sweetness, I think, from the Virginias. But this is a more natural, um, the Cyprian mixture is more uh, natural tasting than even the Frogmorton Cellar, just because you do get, you know, little remnants, little notes of the whiskey that uh, the tobacco has taken on. So, Now, I say I've been enjoying this in the fall. I think this tobacco could be enjoyed in the summertime, <clears throat> excuse me, in the summertime as well, uh, for the reason that it is a very soft smoke. It it burns very cool. Um, you know, I'm not one to, uh, I think, enjoy a lot of tobaccos in the summertime simply because it's too hot where I live. But I think I could probably enjoy this in the summertime just because of that, because it does burn cool. It's a very relaxing smoke. You know, this would be a go-to for me if I've had a long day or uh, been stressed out or even just want to wind down um, before I uh, go to bed, you know, and start another day. So, very relaxing smoke. But anyway, uh, I think I've probably explained all that I can at this point and I'll just end up rambling or repeating myself so I'm going to cut it off here um, actually I do want to say one thing so I bought this at uh, my local tobacconist uh, the wharf in Dayton Ohio um, if you're ever passing through I highly recommend you stop in and check out uh, their shop um, it's actually technically in Beaver Creek Ohio but it's um, it's a Dayton suburb um, the shop itself is pretty good sized. Um, they do have a lounge and they have a wide selection of tin and bulk uh, tobaccos as well as a, a very large supply of cigars. So and the staff are um, second to none. They are very helpful. They're, a lot of times they have uh, a cracked tin even of something that you might be interested in buying um, that they'd be willing to let you try for free before you um, pull the trigger and, and, and buy it. So um, anyway, I can't recommend them high enough. So if you're ever in the Dayton area, um, I highly recommend you stop in and check them out. Um, and also, if you're swinging through, um, give me a holler. Or send me a message here. Let me know you're going to be there, and I'll see what I can do uh, to meet up with you. Maybe we can enjoy a bowl together. But anyway, for what it's worth, that's my thoughts on this one. Uh, so that's McClellan's Cyprian Mixture. I highly recommend you check it out. And uh, would love to know your thoughts on it, too, if some of you have tried it. So uh, <clears throat> always appreciate your comments and feedback. Um, if, you've, if you've liked, uh, if you've appreciated this or not, leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And uh, let me know if you leave a thumbs down what I can do to improve it. Because I want to keep you guys engaged as well. So anyway, that's all for me tonight. And... Uh, Hope you guys have a great week, and we'll catch you next time. God bless.